Even for the company that gave us the Prius and Mirai, Toyota's iRoad is an unusual car. An electric two-seater, it may have started as a concept, but with two successful city trials in Paris and Tokyo under its belt, Toyota has given serious thought to the tilting three-wheeler. It's hardly a family car either, with a vestigial rear seat more suited to a few shopping bags, but it's certainly easy to drive. After a quick figure eight, I've got used to the tilting action, which varies in angle according to the g-forces involved. You feel like you're going a lot faster than the iRoad's top speed of 37 miles an hour, though the EV doesn't feel toy-like. Haptic feedback through the wheel buzzes when you're reaching the tilting limits, after which point you'll start to see some understeer. The tiny footprint makes for a similarly tiny turning circle of less than 10 feet, and the single forward and reverse gears are controlled with buttons on the dashboard. You also get a USB input and a heated windshield, and unlike some urban EVs, there are full windows for using the iRoad in the rain. A full charge takes around 90 minutes and is good for around 31 miles of driving, and it's hard to overstate just how much fun you have while you're doing it too. Toyota still isn't talking commercialization plans for iRoad, nor where the trials may go next, but getting the EV approved for US roads is underway. Nor is there any mention of how much it might cost, though there Toyota is considering both pay-per-use models and outright purchase, or more likely some combination of the two.